Aries, and welcome back to another reading with me, Soulful. How are you doing today? <laughs> I have put myself full of caffeine. I was actually going to go on camera to show, you know, my face to show me, but then I changed my mind because I am exhausted. Okay, Aries, I'm very tired. I have been very busy doing lots of projects, working on uh, artwork. I've been painting. I've been drawing. I've been doing digital work. I have been also doing my my regular daily life, you know, work. So everything has been sort of exhausting. <laughs> so I thought, why not tap into that beautiful Aries energy and give you guys a reading? This is why my schedule has been kind of varying, but I'm slowly getting back into the groove, so to speak, with my channel and to give you guys the readings that you're looking for. And I just want to say I miss all of you, and I hope that all of you have been well and staying safe during everything in our world that is going kind of nuts right now, okay? All right, Aries, let's escape a little bit and get into spirituality. Let's get into love. Let's take a look what's going on. I really want to see what's going on with my beautiful, beautiful Rams and I want to know what's happening for you all in love, okay? Because it, it helps me too, whether people realize it or not. These videos also help me, okay? They also help me to, you know, take a break and actually go outside of myself because I'm the kind of person that is very creative. So I spend a lot of time in my head thinking of ideas and stuff like that. But when I get into that Aries energy, I get fired up and I just feel awesome. So let's let's just see if maybe after I finish this reading, I wake up a little bit, okay? <laughs> let's see what happens because I've tried a whole, you know, couple of cups of coffee and they didn't work. So, <laughs> okay, Aries. Tell me, tell me, what is going on with Aries? Let's, let's just do this. I'm talking really too much. What is going on with Aries and their energy today? What is going on with Aries and their energy today? What is going on? I keep seeing, um, like, carnations right now for some reason. And I'm, I'm like... I have, you know, that really soft feeling underneath, um, like the underside of a rose petal for some reason, that's, that image is popping up to me. Someone like touching the underside of a rose and feeling it and going, wow, that's so soft. Like, I love it. Um, so maybe some of you guys got love on the brain. I don't know, or at least romance. So let's, let's take a look what's going on here. Okay. We have. Secrets and discoveries. Wow. <laughs> Aries. Okay. Okay. So I feel like there is within you, okay, you know somebody is either hiding a secret uh, from you and it has to do with how they feel about you and perhaps passionately or this person is drawn to you. There's someone drawn to you because of uh, a secret they keep hidden within themselves that you maybe bring out of them. Okay, Aries, somebody wants to discover more of you or more of themselves. Um, there's something about your light I'm hearing or your fire, your, your passion for life that is actually drawing this person to uncover parts of themselves that they've perhaps neglected. Okay, Aries. How interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the lower and the higher self. So I feel like you have a better understanding of yourself than the person you're dealing with quite possibly. Or maybe um, you have done spiritual work or you, you know, it, something about you is like you recognize the difference between, you know, the ego and understanding your higher self, understanding that there's more to you than just what's happening on a mental level. So there could be a person here not only drawn to your passion or drawn to your fire, but they're drawn to the way that you look at life, the way that you look at yourself or about your own, you know, um, 
spiritual side of you, okay? You're, you're more freeing. I'm hearing that you're more of a freeing person, okay? So let's go ahead and jump over to tarot. I want to know about your person. Why this secrets and discoveries? Why this is here? I want to know about this, Aries. I want to know what exactly is happening here in this energy. This is very interesting. It's almost like someone has a hidden desire and they don't know how to express it, okay? Or maybe they saw something about you and suddenly it's triggered something within them. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Oh my. So you could be dealing with a water sign, okay? Pisces Cancer or Scorpio here. There could be someone here that is... Now, we're in Pisces season, right? So there could be someone here that is drawn towards you emotionally, okay? And they have a lot of emotion for you. They may not be speaking about it. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Or they see you this way. They see you as someone very in tune with your own flow. Okay, that you understand emotions and that there's, you know, <laughs> there may be an outpouring of love here that needs to happen. Okay, Aries. What else? Okay, Seven of Cups in reverse. King of Cups. Wow. Look at this. Aries, look at this. <sighs> I'm hearing, I don't want nobody but you, okay? Like, I don't want anyone but you. Wow. So we've got a match here, okay, with the King and Queen of Cups. Aries, someone here has just as much emotion for you as they as you do for them, okay? But I, I can't help but shake the feeling that this person um is uncovering these emotions uncovering how much they really feel and how much it's just it's only you it's only you that they're interested in tell me more tell me more please tell us about the seven of cups the sun in reverse Okay, so I'm getting a real non-illumination, non-truth, okay? Someone is keeping to themselves how they feel about this connection. They're not happy about something. Two of pentacles. Hanging man. There it is. Oh, man. So I got to put it out there to you, Aries. Whoever this person is, they could also have water in their chart as well. Okay, you guys are a match. You're you're definitely a match. You're a soul match here. But um, <laughs> one of you is 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 a one of you is unafraid to explore the the relationship, but the other one is having a hard time getting through the uh, everyday life struggles, uh, their responsibilities, or the way that they view this connection, they're constantly juggling their thoughts and their feelings about it. I also get the vibe that um, they may be a bit back and forth, you know? Like they come to you and they tell you, you know, hi, I want to be around you, or, you know, you're they're spending their days. If this is someone you're committed to in a relationship with, they, they're spending their days uh, doing other things, and it's kind of like put you in a position or them in a position where you know they need to take a long hard look at the way they're handling the relationship huh okay tell me what they think of Aries I want to know what this person thinks of Aries so six of coins huh I like that I like that there is there is a flow here Okay, there is a flow. You guys have something that is of an equal exchange to give one another. You may be sharing your generosity with this person and being very forthcoming. But I just can't help but shake the vibe and think that with this hanging man, that this person is yet to really uh, engage you in the way that they would like to. Um, and it does make them unhappy. I don't think they like it. 
tell me tell me how they feel they think that you're very generous okay two of wands the reverse yeah they're not like i said your your person here is not taking much of a, a planning effort instead they're sitting back kind of juggling the thought of it or you know juggling how much they're willing to put in or how much they're willing to say they feel for you okay they're struggling all right aries it's plain and simple this person sees your fire they see your beauty they see you for who you are okay and yet they're holding back okay we've got someone here who is holding back and not making plans not you know they are they have emotions for you but they are trying to understand why okay it's very rudimentary uh you could be dealing with someone's an air sign someone's stuck in their head a bit let's see any more messages about the person and their struggle with aries that's too many any more about the struggle strength in the reverse yeah this person can't get themselves how do i want to put this priority that's the word that just popped up they don't really understand their priorities they're not really uh you know putting you first okay i feel like whoever this person is they need to step up to the plate and decide tell you what they want okay or at least tell you how they feel and you i get the feeling you want this person to lighten up okay with the sun in reverse here that they're maybe they're too stubborn um chariot oh my what else what else the world in reverse <laughs> so this person is vacillating okay that's what i want to tell you aries they're going between uh being like i want this and I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. But then they stop. Okay. And then they go, oh no, like that would be a huge change. So there may be something in this person's life with the two pentacles here that they are juggling the idea of, you know, exploring something deeper with you. But whatever's going on, there's like a, a wall. Okay. I'm hearing with this world card, there's a wall or a fear or something that is stopping them from actually moving forward and they're not you know they got to get the gonads here so to speak with strength to actually do something about it shadow card we have eight of wands on the bottom of the deck okay so i get the feeling that this person is not taking the action that is needed all right to come towards you why are they not taking action why <laughs> okay, eight of wands in reverse. Yes, we already know that. They may not be communicating with you. Okay, there's a possibility of that, or at least in a fashion that denotes, hey, uh, Aries, this is what I want. Okay, but I get the feeling you know. Wow, ace of wands. Okay, eight of wands, ace of wands. Knight of Swords in the reverse. All right, so Aries, this is the problem, okay? This is the problem, and I don't know what you're going to do with it, but I will give you my advice, okay? This person wants you, all right? They want you. They want that Aries. <laughs> they want it bad, and they feel with you that there is something that could unlock you know, a piece of them, this, like, you have the key, you have the key to unlocking their passions or unlocking their, huh, dare I say, erotic side. Okay, Aries, there is something about you. It's that uh, fire, that spark, that hit when they're around you, that, 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 that entirely different energy than what they're used to, okay, um, that they are not expressing okay this person is not expressing this to you i get the vibe you're frustrated but at the same time you're kind of doing you let's see how aries feels about this situation i want to know how does aries feel about this situation with their person 
Don't worry, we'll go over signs after this. How does Aries feel about this situation? I want to know. Thank you, Source. Okay, Five of Wands. You're conflicted. You're conflicted about this. Um, you may feel, Aries, like there's more competition out there. And if this person doesn't step up to the plate, you're going to go pew, in the opposite direction. Um, for some of you guys with this Two of Pentacles and the Hangman, it's been quite some time that you've waited for this person to step up to the plate. Okay. Um, let's get two more cards about how you feel about this. Two more cards, please, for how Aries feels about this. Three of Swords. Oh, my dear hearts. One more. Magician in the reverse. Yeah, okay. Again, for some of you guys, this person is not communicating properly and they've got issues, okay? Um, be careful here, all right, Aries? This is what I want, I want to tell you. This is hurting you a lot. Because I feel like you have invested emotionally with that Queen of Cups energy here. Okay? You have invested emotionally into this person. And um, you want something with them. You want something, but they're kind of immature. They may have some growing up to do with that Sun card in reverse. And I feel like the, the whole thing here is that until this person changes the way they interact with you, you're going to get... Um, you know, this, this internal conflict with your heart. Okay. And it, and it hurts. I think here with the three of swords, it hurts and it, it affects you and it affects what you're manifesting in your life. So, you know, Aries, like I'm feeling for you big time right now. You've, you've got someone that, you know, has passion for you, but they just won't do anything about it. And they're just kind of taking a seat back. Um, let's take a look at why. Okay, maybe we can get some advice energy on why this person holds back. Why aren't they being their true self? Why, you know, which is strange because with this King of Cups here, okay, look at that. The devil just flew out. The devil and the Nine of Wands. Ooh. So there's definitely a blockage, okay? And it has to do with the way that this person sees themselves. Or sees their situation in life. They are choosing stagnation. That's what I'm hearing. This person chooses stagnation. Instead of actually. You know. Going for the gold. And <laughs> going for their passion. Or going for what they desire. Um, wow. Let's see what's on the bottom. For the shadow card. For this. Six of cups in the reverse on the bottom of the deck for the shadow card the need to change okay and get out of cycles this person may be reminiscing or they're stuck in the past just a little too much okay and what's happening here with this devil card and this wands card is i i hate to say it but there is a cycle in their life of stagnation and something that they have not broken out of yet that they are continuing to stay within and it is an unhealthy deal, okay? They are making a deal with the devil here and it has to do with stability or money or the way that they're living their life. It's like, I'm hearing this is just what I'm used to, so what's the point in fighting? Um, they're, they, this person, sometimes I feel like they just want to give up. They're tired. Look at this. They're tired or of sorts. They, they need rest. They need to get back in touch with their inner guides, their inner knight in shining armor, so to speak. The Something about the past is also haunting them, and I don't know what it is. It could be the external energy around them, okay? But we're not going to spy too much more. We're going to go ahead and get some advice with tarot, and then we're going to pull actual advice with oracle, and we'll move on. All right, Aries, what advice do you need? What does Aries need to hear with tarot? All right, four of wands, happy home. Sometimes, Aries, when we get so into another person, um, we think that there's no other way we'll be happy or you know, we need that. We need that person. They're meant for us or something. 
But here with the Four of Wands, I'm getting the feeling that like your happy home or your stability right now is way more important than what's actually happening within this person's life. And the more you focus on your stability and what you want in your life, you know, the, this whole thing over here takes care of itself, okay? What else do we have? Page of Coins. And Seven of Wands in the reverse. So, some of you guys are trying to present to this person a way to, you know, bring them into your life, into your happy home. Okay, you're trying to show them that it's safe. Listen, you've already shown this person it's safe. You already have. You have already showed them that it's okay and it's safe for them to come forward. But I want to tell you, this person is highly defensive over their stagnation. Uh, they don't know how to break out of it. And, you know, they're kind of losing. They're kind of. It's kind of a losing battle because who hangs on to stagnation like that? Um, so whatever it is you've presented, like, you know, Hey, I've got a happy home. I've got a place we can relax in. Um, you know, there's stability here, but no, this person, for some reason they view it, they view you as a threat, Aries. And you know why? Okay. Because they are seeing a part of you that they wish they had. Okay, Aries, this is, this is exactly what is happening. They are seeing that beautiful part of you that they wish they had. And bottom of the deck, we have death in reverse. Okay. Stagnation. Again, yet again, the inability to change, the inability to grow, the inability to uh, look at themselves and say, I want this. I want that. This is what I want in my life. Okay. So that that's hard. Aries, and, and I think you really feel for this person and you want to see it through, but I think that some of you guys are ready to check out. Some of you guys are like, I'm out of here. Okay. Okay. So for signs, we have Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius. We also have Sagittarius and Leo. Okay. And possible Libra. Did I say Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Yes, we, we quite possibly have those signs. Okay. All right. Now let's get you some advice so that you can feel better. Oof, that was way too many. Let's try that again. All right, Aries, here we are. A fiery climax approaches. So for some of you guys, this person may actually be on the verge of saying something to you, okay? Or you may be just ready to, to, to blow this house down. You know what I mean? Like, you may be getting tired of uh, the stagnation and why this person won't come forward. Um, and, you know, things are boiling over, okay? Some of you guys are in the thick of it with them. See. the end of a tough cycle approaches wow something the energy buildup is about to burst something's going to change okay especially with that chariot card that i had earlier with your person there is some kind of change happening right now with them like a shift in energy or a shift maybe even in thought pattern something is happening there's some kind of climax some kind of, and it's it's trying to break that cycle. Something's going to break a cycle here, and it's going to have to do with you, Aries. Okay, one more piece of advice. The energy's gaining momentum. Okay, so I can't help but feel like there is something shifting within this situation. Can we get one more piece of advice? We got two. Okay, we've got... Surrendered to the divine, but it came out in the reverse. So I'm going to go with it. Okay. Some of you guys, like you don't want to let this go. Like you don't want to release it. You don't, you would rather see action happening. And then we got nothing will come of this situation. So my advice here, okay. It's time to take action in the reverse. Okay. I'm taking these reversals. Look, Aries, do not push. Okay. Do not push this person into doing anything. 
just keep doing your own thing because I feel if you the, the the energy itself is trying to work something out okay between both of you and the more you push the less anything's going to happen so stay strong you know like surrender the situation like just come to an understanding that it's not you Aries it's nothing you're doing at this point in time this is literally the ball is in their court so this is not a time for you to, you know, rush headlong, head forward into battle and try to fight for this connection. It is about this person fighting for the connection now. Okay? There's a lot of stagnation here. There is. All right. That's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You take care of yourself, Aries. And happy St. Patty's Day. Yes, I did wear green today and I have green eyes. So, you know, I get that little special, like thing because you know kiss me i am irish i i do have that in my blood okay <laughs> so can i get an aries kiss today no <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> all right you take it easy bye aries